All right, hey guys, we're here for another episode of Troy Area today, and today um, we're gonna go and enter in the dungeon. Um, I actually killed Skeletor on another video, so I'm just gonna upload that uh, right before I enter the dungeon, so it makes sense. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to do a little bit of demonstrating what I got so far. So last or off screen, I was screwing around a little bit with my items, and I made a few changes. Um, I now have a full set of uh, shadow armor. I also have the hard specter boots, which basically is a combination of the Hermes boots and the rocket boots. <coughs> So it just frees up one more space for my inventory so I can make myself a little bit stronger. I also got two new items. I got an orb of light and a magic mirror. Um, the magic mirror allows me to teleport home as demonstrated so I'll no longer have to do the whole save and quit thing. Um, I also have an orb of light which allows me to light up the area but unfortunately I don't have any mana. So it's kind of worthless to me. I don't know why, but I like the way that looks. Alright, so basically, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So, I figure we're going to go and kill some of the dungeon guys. Um, <clears throat> there's no specific reason why I'm doing it. I just thought it would be kind of cool. Um, well, actually, no, there's a reason I'm doing it. I was just like, what? why am I doing this, actually? Um... The reason why I'm doing this is just because I've done essentially everything else I can do in terms of, like, my Let's Play. Um, well, at least up until now. Like, um, I've gone to hell, I've gone exploring the jungle, been to the desert, seen an island. I've even gone to the ocean a little bit. So, <clears throat> I mean, there's still some more stuff I need to do, obviously. And there's still a bunch of new stuff that I need to experience as well. There was three new bosses added in on the last update, and I still have yet to find, or I still yet to get to hard mode yet. So, <clears throat> before we do, you know, hard mode, we have to do everything we can do in normal mode. And that requires me uh, doing the dungeon. And so, that's where we're at right now. We're going to do the dungeon, and hopefully we don't die. I think we should be okay, though, because we killed Skeletron already. And, like, pretty much as soon as you kill Skeletron, the dungeon becomes, not easy, but, you know, it becomes doable, I should say. I mean, we're pretty dang well off right now. I've got, like, a decent pair of armor, which gives me, you know, a 7%, or I should say, actually, um, let's see, 7, 14, uh, 21, then 21 plus 15 would be 36. So, I've got about a 36% um, attack bonus, plus the extra armor that I have. So I'm at about 26 armor, and I'm at about, you know, like a 40% increase from my attack speed because of some of my other items as well. <clears throat> Let's see. So yeah. And yeah, this is where I fought Skeletron. Um, I'll probably be putting the video in any second now. Um, ooh, cool. I got a brisk shackle. Neat. Uh, so I'm going to put the video in probably right here. Let me just get the star first. Come on. Oh, it disappeared, did it? Yeah, it did. Because it's turning day 10 now. Alright, so I'm going to put the video in right here. Uh, it's just me fighting Skeletron. And then after that, I'm going to be entering the dungeon. So let's go. Uh, uh. 
Alright, so now let's go to instead. Let's go ahead and enter into the dungeon. Um, I really, oh shit, ow. That's a perfect way to start the dungeon. So, the reason why you want to kill Skeletron before you enter the dungeon is simply because if you do not, then you, um, have, well, you'll be killed uh, by a boss. It's not really a boss, he's more of like a guardian of this place. And I'll be honest, uh, he's very powerful. So it's not really in your best interest to attack him unless you feel like dying. I think he's actually unkillable. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think it's true. Yeah. Anyway, so <clears throat> the uh, dungeons here, they have a bunch of traps, including spiky balls and like... Um, spiky balls and just a bunch of like dangerous little sharp objects that you can step on. Like, see those? Yeah, don't want to step on those. And then there's a ton of... Who are you? Hold on. Man, he's just adding new NPCs all over the place. Alright, so you are a bound NPC? Sweet. Ow. No! Damn it. I don't even know where that... Oh shit! No, don't kill him! I didn't even get to see what that person is yet. Take all that. I did see the key, so don't worry about that. And I also need to get the heart as well. I mean, if the mechanic died, that's fine. I can just always respawn it. I assume it's a respawnable NPC, but um, I really wanted to figure out who that was first. So, okay, yeah. Let me just quickly... Oh, cool. Look at that. So, oh god! Jeez, this is not a safe place to sit still. Okay, so my mechanic is probably going to die. That's fine. And there's a skeleton there. Some more skeletons. There's a lot of skeletons in this place. Let's just say that. <clears throat> yeah, see, there's a whole lot of skeletons. They come out from everywhere. Um, so anyway, now i got a mechanic. I didn't know you could get mechanics. They look cool, though. See, this is where I need... Ah, for fuck's sake. Wait, why isn't my- oh, that's right, if those guys hit you, you can't use your weapons. Yeah, so... Hmm. Okay, fire with great sword. Okay. And I see that trap there, so I'm gonna avoid it. I don't even know what it would do, honestly. That treasure chest up there requires a gold key, and actually we have a gold key. Oh, come on, what the fuck? Come on, there we go. Okay. Sweet, okay. Uh, well, not really what I wanted, but it'll be, it'll be worth some money a little bit later. Alright, so let's see. Let's see, okay. That chest is locked, and I'm getting murdered here. Come on, okay. Yeah, that chest is locked, so... Uh, you need golden keys to open up a lot of these treasure chests, and, um... I think they're only possible to get through either other treasure chests that are openable? Is that a word? Yeah, that's a word. Openable. Um, that are open, that can be opened without using a key, so... Um... That's what we're doing. We're looking for keys. I don't even... Oh, wow. Seriously? Oh, there we go, golden key. I think, yeah, I guess you can also get golden keys through pots, so... Probably want to keep my eye open for that as well. If I don't die. Which is a possibility. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Seriously? Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not going to be talking for a second here. Hold on. Just need to get by all this quick. Okay, cool. Killed most of them. That's awesome. That's cool. There's another key. Sweet. The more keys you get, uh, the better. At least in my opinion. I think it's actually pretty straightforward as to why that's a good thing. So, yeah. Um, I won't be opening up all the treasure chests. Essentially, I'm probably just going to be doing the uh, couple. Until I can get a, uh, I think it's called like a Matsumura? I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but it's this type of sword. And if you get it, then, um, then you can make the Nightmare's Edge, I think it's called, or the Knight's Edge. 
And if you have the Knight's Edge, then you can... It, it's one of the more powerful swords in the game, so... That is always good to... Cool, we've got three keys now. Ugh, I can't even take time to, like, admire how many keys I have. It's sad. And, of course, everything in this dungeon does damage to you. Like, even the walls, so... That kind of sucks. You know, actually, now that we have got... Oh, yeah, I also got a legendary Nightmare Pickaxe. Um... It's not really, like, that special. It's just, you know, a better pickaxe than the one I had before. So, yeah. Price, really? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, if those little floating skeletons hit you, then you can't actually attack for a period of time. They don't have a lot of health, though, so that's one good thing. I really don't know why I did that, just for a couple of silver coins. Yeah, but because we've got a legendary pickaxe now, which I, I didn't have to try at all that hard. I think I did it one time, and I made it, so... Um, now that we've got one of these, we can dig straight through. Really? I can't even get the pickaxe out there? I hate these guys so much. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to get through pretty quick. This should just put us into another part of the dungeon, but if it doesn't, then I'll have to go back up. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it's putting us into another part of the dungeon, does it? Now yeah, there's some gold there, and actually I found out that I need gold to do something that I wanted to do, so... I may as well mine it. I mean, I'm gonna need a lot more than that, but, you know, it's a start. Now, I heard that you can mine boulders. Oh, shit. Really? They just react and attack you like that? They have, like, a mind of their own, I guess? That's kind of weird. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let me see. I need to start clearing some of my inventory out. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears> hmm. <throat> Spelunker potion. Um, I'm gonna need the bones for something else. So, yeah. Can't use that yet? Okay. Um, I'm not gonna sell them, but I don't really need them anymore. Ooh, I can actually equip one of these. It's not exactly gonna be the best thing I can equip, and I can probably get something better pretty soon, but, uh, for now, you know, for now. Plus, it gives me a little extra room. Hmm, is that everything that I can pretty much get rid of for now? Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so now, let's see, what do we want to do? I guess we'll just go back up into the dungeon. Our health is recovered, and now we got a bunch of keys. Remind me to keep one of those keys. Well, you guys can't actually remind me, but, you know, uh, I'll try and remind myself to keep one of the keys so that I can go to the floating island and do it. <clears throat> because the floating island... Hey, look at the key! They're being pretty generous with these keys, actually. I was... I was surprised. Another golden key? Wow, that's five so far? Jesus. Um, I mean, I wanted them to be generous, but shit, that's, that's like charity they're pretty much giving me right now, that's crazy. Alright, so, come on. I know I saw a bunch of chests just a second ago, so where'd they go? Oh, nope, 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 get out of here. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Ow. Wait, there's a chest, I see one. Okay, 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 cool. Uh, was that another one? Nah, it couldn't have been. Fuck you, skeleton, fuck you. Come on, there we go, okay. Drinky. And this has an aqua scepter, that's cool. I'm gonna get rid of these, can I? No. <clears throat> I can get rid of those. I don't even need those. Those are terrible. 
Uh, bombs? I can probably just use them. I don't think they'll do anything. Ow! Okay, sorry. Yeah, this doesn't do anything, so. Get rid of those. I guess we can take one. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <coughs> Excuse me. Ow. Alright, on the search for golden chests. I think I just came up here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And if, as far as I can remember, that was a dead end, so... I don't know why, I just felt like murdering that one skeleton. Yeah, we're on the search for a Matsumura sword, if that's how you pronounce it. Oh wow, that thing is just spiraling around. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get hit by that again. Nope. Okay, cool. I'll get hit by that, so I guess that made up for it. And that as well. Cool. Cool. Taking hits all over the place. <clears throat> no Matsumura yet. That's disappointing. What's this? Oh, sweet! Oh, god! No, that's not what I wanted at all. <clears throat> that was the opposite of what I wanted. That was the complete opposite of what I wanted. Oh, shit. Of course, now there's a... Yep, there we go. <clears throat> How many gold coins did we lose from that? Probably a shit ton, right? <sighs> that couldn't have gone any worse. You know, I'm just gonna switch those two out. Actually, now that we're back home, we may as well just deposit all this crap. Alright, let's do a quick stack. And then we're gonna sell a bunch of this crap that I'm not gonna need. Alright, gotta get rid of this. Get rid of those. Keep that for right now. We've got way too many of these, and I'm not gonna ever use them all. Get rid of the life crystal, I'm never gonna use that. Get rid of those, get rid of these, get rid of, well, not keep the bones, keep that as well, get rid of that. I'm gonna hold on to the magical items, I can't use them right now, but I have no idea, maybe someday they'll be useful. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep that as well. Um, so I think that's everything we can get rid of. <clears throat> Do another quick stack. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and deposit these three guys. Um, do another quick stack. Nope, can't do a quick stack. Now we can do a quick stack. Okay, and then um, next we need to get rid of this gold. So, why don't we just put it in here? Put that there. I'm gonna place that. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep one gold key. Uh, for the island, and the other two I'm gonna save. Or I'm gonna use, I mean. Uh, dynamite goes in there. The bones can go in here. I'm gonna do the suspicious eye in there. Cause I only, I don't have any suspicious eyes, so that one can go in there. So essentially, these four treasure chests, uh, here will be full of all the valuable items, and all the rest of them will just be, like, whatever crap that I've accumulated over time. So, you know, I'm trying to get, like, a system down, um, so things will be a bit more organized, so yeah. Actually, what do I do with the candle? Let me just place that. I guess I'll just put it here. Yeah, if you hold the water candle, by the way, in case anybody was wondering, uh, it attracts, like, a multitude of enemies, so... It's a good way to get yourself killed, or a good way to summon the slime boss. <clears throat> In case any of you are wondering.
Oh shit, ow. Okay, so now we're back, and I just started off by getting hit by something. That's fine, I guess. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna just start, like, throwing these on down. Just so that, you know, I have a little bit of light. That way, you know, if I ever have to come back down here, which is a possibility, um, then it'll be lit up a little bit. And it'll be nice. Alright, what do we got in here? Some gold coins, some other crap. Get rid of that skeleton, because he's kind of a douche. Did I already open this? Yeah, I did. I don't think I've been to this spot in particular, though. I think this is the place you get the Matsumura sword. I might be wrong, though, now that I'm thinking about it. Well, I'm thinking... It's either here, or it's in hell, so it's one of those two places. Alright, so we just ran out of keys, and unfortunately there was no Matsumura sword. So now we gotta either sit here and kill enemies for an hour and a half till we get another one, or look for jars to smash. Because jars will contain them occasionally. Or treasure chests. That that works too. Is that nope. Okay, never mind. Ow. Alright. So I think what we're probably gonna do is we're gonna have to either Oh god, I thought it was gonna get, like either kill me or just like, severely damage me. Yeah, well. I need to take that damage, so. Ah, not looking forward to that. <clears throat> Man, there's a lot of enemies here, too. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's see if we can get down there with that. Come on. There we go. Wow. It's not just me, right? Like, you see all these enemies? Wow. Oh, yeah, so apparently if you kill those slimes uh, when you're down in this place... They give you coins. Uh, I mean keys. I did not know that. Time it right. Go over it. Hey, look at that. Another statue. Oh, so I did a little bit of research on the statues. And I found out that uh, if you wire the statues, that uh, some of them give you special stuff. The other ones don't. So it really just depends on which statues you have, I guess. I forget if... This one in particular does anything. I think it might just give you potions. I'm not sure. Or maybe it gives you mana. I really don't know. God, can you just kill this last guy? Thank you. Okay. Quickly get the statue. Here we go. And let's see. Let's put some torches up. Put those ones there. Quickly get my sword out. Okay. Gotta kill this guy. And then I gotta kill this one, get the potion. Potion, there we go. And then wait a little bit, jump. Smashy, smashy. And then kill this dude. Come on. Come on. And I got him. I got. Ooh, he didn't infect me either. That was cool. I thought for sure he infected me. Oh god. Oh god. No. Okay, there we go. You're doing okay so far. Um, still haven't found like a Matsumura sword or what I'm in particular looking for, so. And again, still no Matsumura. I thought it was supposed to be easier than this. It's something that it was like an easier sword to find. 
I guess maybe they lied to me. Would not be the first time that the internet has lied to me. Uh oh. God damn it. Kill skeleton. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, so I need more keys right now, and I need more chests to open, so. Those are our two objectives for right now. Well, actually, there's plenty of chests to open. I just don't have any keys. <laughs> I say as I find a key in a freaking little jug. Alright, come on. Okay, let's fly up here. Oh my god! Giant spiky ball put in a really bad spot, actually. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to do this without getting myself killed by the spiky ball. Not very easy. Damn it! Alright, I'm probably just gonna have to time this correctly and just hit loot all real quick. Okay, first take that. Now, okay, go, go, go. Shit! Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And now? Loot all. Ooh! Alright, I'm gonna equip that right away. A violent cobalt shield grants immunity to knockback. That actually might not be a good thing, compare, er, considering that <clears throat> when, uh, you know, one of those chain ball things hit me, then, you know, they actually knock me back to safety. So in this case, I think that not having knockback is a bad thing. But hey, whatever. We got some more defense. Um, and also, I heard that you can combine this with another item, so I probably will be doing that at some point. I have to find this stupid sword, though. It's taken forever to find it. <clears throat> I don't know how long it's supposed to take. You know, what the average is. Hey, look, I found my death. Or my tombstone, I should say. <clears throat> nah, shit. Come on. Thank you. Oh, yeah, another gold key. Sweet. Oh my god, terrible positioning. Okay, jump up. Healy, healy, torchy, torchy. Uh, flyy, flyy. Sorty, sorty. Mana. Healing potion. Oh god. I'm just leaving those water candles there so that- oh! Apparently I've been here before, so... I'm gonna go this way. <clears throat> I guess I've been here this way- Yeah, I've been this way too, so... For fuck's sake, there was like a lag drop or whatever. Alright, come on. Come on, buddy. God damn it. Come on, buddy. There you go. And then let's put some torches down. So, let's just continue on. Well, technically we're going in kind of like a loopy loop circle, but that's okay. Actually, what am I doing that for? <clears throat> yeah, there's a chest on there I can do. God damn it. Horrible position. Okay. Okay, let's open up this chest. Nasty gun. Nothing really too exciting, although I do need the gold, so that's fun. Do have any more keys, or is that it? Let's just... I'm, I'm too lazy to look through all that. No, I do not. Okay. <clears throat> ah, God damn it. Mm. Alright, there we go. Holy shit, that's a lot of skeletons. I 
feel like they all get trapped in this one specific spot. Which could be a possibility, honestly. <clears throat> I wish the skeletons dropped keys. But they do not, unfortunately. Alright, so let's see here. Ah, we've been this way before. I recognize it. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know how many chests I have left exactly, but, I mean, it seems like I'm not really getting any more keys. I don't know if that's normal or what, but, uh... Oh, there's another jug. Maybe I can get lucky? No. God, the heart that I just got, I lost. Oh, there's a bunch of jugs over here. If there isn't a single key in here, man, I don't know what I'll do. Wow. Not a single key. Awesome. Oh, well, at least this is a new way to go. I haven't actually been this way yet. And let's just put some torches up. Of course. Come on. I'm looking for keys, not getting any though. Oh, really? Alright, there you go. There's a golden key. Only took like a million years. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going down this way, and there's a chest. I was expecting to get one eventually. Now is this, does this go anywhere else, or is this like the end of the cave? Ooh, what's this? I've never seen that one before. That is a cool looking one, I want that. Cross statue? Awesome. <clears throat> Shit, I'm out of room. Uh, is there anything I can get rid of? I guess the flaming arrows. Throwing knives. <clears throat> um... I don't know what I'm going to need the bones for, but I'm going to hold on to them just in case. Um, hmm, I guess I could open it, you know? Yeah, no Matsumura. Oh, cool, everything can just stack neatly into place, that's cool. Well, um... I'll be honest, this sort of looks like the end of the dungeon. Um, I, I think there's like maybe two or three chests that are left to open, but unfortunately I ran out of keys and I don't really see any more available ways to get keys unless I... Well, it's not really cheating, but you basically just go to another world and open up another dungeon. But then there's really no point in bringing the keys back here because... Well, why would you? Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, is there anything else here? I hate this guy. Come on. Okay, uh, so I think I'm going to call that good for the dungeon. I don't think uh, I'm going to be getting any more keys, and I don't think I'm going to be getting any more uh, stuff that I already have, so... That was a little little disappointing because I couldn't get the Matsumura, and that's essentially the last piece I need to make my ultimate sword. Uh, not the ultimate, but my ultimate, because I like it the best. I'll probably eventually get the Excalibur. You know, I'll eventually get all the good stuff. I usually do. It just takes time. I've already been up here. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna get the hell out of here before I die. Sweet sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna sell some crap. 
Okay, I already know that we've got two of these, so... I'm not, I don't really care too much about these either. Man, I've got a ton of them. Holy shit. Alright, sell you, sell you. I think I've already got one deposited, so I'm gonna sell that one as well. Get rid of that. Getting rid of that. Night Owl Potion? Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Get rid of those. Keeping those, keeping that. Getting rid of that. I'll hold on to the silver, I guess. Um, hold on to the gold, selling the bombs. Bones, not really worth it. I already have one of those. I don't have a gun. Do I really want to keep the gun, though? Ah, I might need it for something, I don't know. <clears throat> Alrighty then, so let's go and do this. Quick stack. Alright, go to this one. That's full. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna take this gold ore. We're gonna craft it into something. And then I'm gonna put this gun in here. Put the eye in there as well. Do a little bit of quick stack action. Gonna place both of those over here. Oh man, we're running out of space for these statues. Uh, let's get rid of the torch. There we go. Okay, so we're running out of space for the statues, but that's cool. Do we have any repeats? I guess we got two of those. Um, no, it doesn't look like we have that many repeats. Maybe just one. Alright, so let's go ahead and smelt this gold ore real quick. Yeah, I'm still going to need a little bit more gold, but I'm pretty much there. Uh, I'm trying to make a slime crown, which will summon, uh, well, just like it sounds like, it's going to summon a slime boss, so. I'll hold on to the gold ore for right now, just to remind me that I need to keep it, so that's fun. Alright. <clears throat> Anything else I should do? Hmm. Alright, what is that gold key at? Let's go ahead and open that, uh, before we end the video, I'm going to open up the case on the of the floating aisle. I think that's a, that's a good end to the episode right there. And I'm just going to start throwing down torches. No real reason to do this, I just like to do it because it's... Uh, I don't know. It keeps everything organized, I guess. Putting down torches and stuff. I'm gonna run out right here, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, put the gold key right there, why not? Oh, jumping over the slime. I can always just buy torches, so I'm not really concerned about killing those guys. Yep. So I'm just going to open up the chest on top of um, the island and see what we get. Alright. Okie dokie, let's see what you got. Give me something good, baby. Let's go. Big money, big money. No whammy, no whammy. Ooh, a ruthless star fury causes stars to rain from the sky. That actually sounds really cool. Oh, but it uses mana? Crap. Alright, well, that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it. Wow, that's actually awesome. So whenever I get, uh, <laughs> whenever I get, um, more mana, I guess I'll use that. That's awesome, actually. I will definitely keep that for now. So you are going to get placed right here next to the other swords. And I'll put you down there. Just keep it a little more organized. Alright. Um, okay, is there anything else? I guess I could just sell the rest of this crap. Goodbye, shine potion. And what the fuck was that? Oh, I've got grenades. 
Interesting. <laughs> I guess I forgot that I had grenades. Uh, let's just buy the torches. I don't know. <clears throat> I never really talk with these merchants anyway. I'm pretty sure that they could use a little bit of comfort. I think you just sell explosives, so I need to talk to the guy with the beard. Hey, look at that. It's the mechanic. That's awesome. And the guy with the beard's down there, so... Come here. Okay. Uh, yeah. He sells torches. So let's get 99 of those. Now, let me see here. Safe can be placed. 50 gold. I don't like that. Well, the thing with the piggy banks that it's actually kind of nice is, um... If you have a piggy bank and it has stuff in it, then if you go to someone else's world in multiplayer and you click on one of their piggy banks, it'll actually show your money. So you can actually like uh, transfer your money to other worlds in multiplayer, and it's actually kind of nice. So yeah. Anyway, um, okay, so we cleared up the dungeon essentially. Um, so we're pretty close to uh, getting done with this let's play. I mean. Well, I shouldn't say that. Now we're going to have a lot more to do. Because we still... After we beat uh, the Wall of Flesh... Yeah, I was doing some reading on Terraria Wiki. After we beat the Wall of Flesh, we're going to have to do... Um, we're going to have to do all the bosses over again. And then I'm going to probably have to do the dungeon over again. And what I really want to do is um, craft some of the better armor uh, in the game. And I also want to get the Excalibur at some point. So we probably have a good... You know, at least a good another four or five hours left, so we still got time. Plus, I wanted to do a couple multiplayer videos, too. I don't know if I'm going to do it with people or not. Um, I was talking about it in my previous videos. Um, if anybody shows, starts to show interest in the comments at some point, then I might do video multiplayer videos with people. But um, at this time, pretty much the only thing uh, I have in mind for the multiplayer videos is um, just joining in random servers and hoping that hoping that uh, I don't know that I have a little bit of fun so um anyway let's go ahead and end the episode before it gets a little bit too long and winded and I will catch you guys on the next episode hopefully you guys enjoyed watching so I'll catch you guys later